Kahuna. <laughs> These are the two quad coppers that I'm flying most often right now. <laughs> this is an ET200 with uh, 5 inch propellers. This is a ZMR250 with 6 inch propellers. Now both of these are running the DYS uh, 1806 motors. It's just one's black and one's this gold color because that's what I had. And actually I like the black better. But other than the color there's really no difference between the, the two motors. Now the one thing about the 1806 motors is they can spin these five inch propellers like a madman they they don't have any problem spinning five inch propellers and even with these bullnose props these things come down uh, nice and cool I mean I barely feel any heat on these when they when it lands now this one is uh, pushing six inch propellers and six inch propellers on a 1806 is pretty tough for it to spin it can spin them just fine and it and it can uh, when it comes down it's not really that um, I'm just noticing now that this has a little bit of stretch marks on it. <laughs> it comes down, it's not really that, it's not really hot, but it's a little bit on the warm side. But with these 6-inch propellers, I've been getting such smooth flights with this that it makes it easy to uh, do racing and stuff with it. And so I've actually been real happy with it. The only problem with this, though, is like I said, these 1806 propeller, or motors aren't really designed to spin 6-inch propellers efficiently. They can, it's just kind of like, um, it's kind of like your kid wearing shoes that are too big for him. He can do it, it's just kind of awkward. and that's kind of what these are the five inch propellers it spins these like no nobody's business so anyway what i did is i picked up some of these from GearBest. these are some dys 2206 motors and i'll show you what these look like they're gold and they uh here you can see it says be 2206 2000 kv okay now this is a 2000 kv so if you put three inch if you put a 3s motor on or a 3s battery on this it's not going to spin this but only 6000 uh you know revolutions per minute now with these these being 2300 this is going to push up uh around 7000 what 7100 or so so you get a little bit more kv out of these the problem is these are big propellers and so it has a harder time spinning them this one with the bigger size won't have a, as hard of a time spinning the six inch propellers the other thing is these are rated for uh two cell to three cell batteries but usually usually when they are 2000 kv you can usually pump four cell through them and not even have any problems and that's what kind of what i plan to do with these is i'm going to replace these 1806 with these 2206s and hopefully get a lot more performance out of them uh, I'm going to I'm going to also switch over to four cell on this uh, ZMR 250 because a lot of my friends have it and their quads are fast with 4s <laughs> these these can run 4s but again they're just not as strong as I need them to be so I'm really hoping that these can uh, live up to the, my expectations so for a little size comparison this is the 1806 motor and here is the 2206 motor right next to it there we go and if I can hold them still, <laughs> you can see the, eight, the 2206 motor is a little bit bigger than this one. And I, the extra magnets that are inside here should provide a little bit more uh, power to spin the 6 inch propellers more so than what the 1806 has. So here's the Sunny Sky 2204 motor and here's the 2206 motor next to it. And again, I just think because of the bigger magnets that this has, it's actually going to spin these propellers a lot better. And uh, I don't know that you can really, that these that these 1806 motors can really spin that motor or spin that six inch propeller at 2300 kV. I don't think it's strong enough to. But these 2206 motors should, and even compared to the Sunny Skies, I think that these things should have uh, plenty more power than the Sunny Skies even. Inside the package with these motors, you get the uh, these little standard little banana clips here that you know with the little bit of shrink wrap for them for your uh, motor wires. Then you also get the uh, little cap here to go on the top of the propeller adapter and screws to mount it to your frame. Here are the components outside of the bag. Now a lot of these motors will come with a little copper ring, and that little copper ring is if you're using these flat propellers that use this. They kind of hook up with it somehow. I'm not really sure, but. But anyway, if you if you're having if you're using these, that little copper ring you usually get a little copper washer, throw it away because it's no good to you. Here I have all the screws placed into the uh, motor. There's four of them that hold the top on here, and uh, four that'll hold the bottom onto your frame, and then the little prop that goes up here on top. Now when you put these together, you do definitely want to put in. Uh, your Loctite, the blue Loctite inside here and also down through the bottom. I've had a few frames where I land and some of these screws were missing and I thought it was kind of flying funny and it probably was because it was probably vibrating like crazy because it lost one of the screws. <laughs> 
anyway, yeah, please use the blue uh, Loctite. Well, I wanted to uh, get some measurements on here. Let's get this measured out, uh, zeroed out, and we'll get the uh, shaft size here, which is five millimeters. That's good. I think the website said this was like two millimeter shaft, but it's actually five, which means that you won't be needing to use your uh, prop adapters if you're buying, you know, most motors they sell nowadays. Uh, we'll go ahead and just for grins, we'll go ahead and get this measurement too, just because we can. It's about 23.44 um, uh, millimeters tall. So anyway, the uh, screws that you get, the bottom ones have three millimeter holes, uh, three millimeter screws like this. And this is a two millimeter screw. Here, I'll put these two next to each other so you can kind of see the difference. Three millimeter screw and two millimeter screw. Now, usually if you buy a ZMR250, the holes that are drilled in here are two millimeters because they just assume you're gonna use something like an 1806 motor or something. So you might have to drill out the holes to three millimeters if you're gonna put these, uh, the bigger motors on. Even even the Sunny Skies use th three millimeter holes. Let's go ahead and get this thing with all the wires and all the screws onto the scale and we'll see how it weighs. 37.5 grams. Now just as a reference, the 1806 weigh uh, 24 grams, and 1306 motors weigh 13.6 grams. So with these coming in at 37.5, they're a little bit higher than the other ones. If you're looking to step up the four cell batteries with uh, six inch propellers, these DYS 2206 motors should be a great option. They, uh, their larger size should make them more powerful to spin six inch propellers and you'll probably actually get closer to the real 2000 kV out of these than, more so than you would the uh, 20, 1806 motors. Anyway, I got four of these uh, ready to go. So I'm going to be putting these on one of the quadcopters and that will probably show up in a video soon. Anyway, if you have any questions about these motors, leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And thanks for watching.